Hello everyone, Pedro here with Cinemilt. Very excited to be here today with you to bring you one more Movie Pro product. And what it is, is our pan counterweight mount. Now we have our Pro Dovetail for all lines of gimbals, including the Movie Pro. It's a counterweight system, and the other half of this system is a pan counterweight mount. Um, now we have this for all the Ronins, for the Tilta, um, and um, for the M5, etc. And now we have it for the Movi Pro. And basically, why would you need this? There's basically two, three reasons. So the first reason is when you have very extreme builds, which is not what we have here, we just have a very simple FS700. But if you had like a very heavy camera, um, I don't know, uh, very cam LTs, not that heavy, but maybe a Alexa Mini, a Red with an XL module, and a battery on the back, and then you put like an Ingenue short zoom or a Cook prime, a zoom, short zoom or prime lens that's very big, very heavy, a master prime maybe, and then a matte box, you start getting into a very, and then lens motors, you start getting into a lot of weight. So very easily you can get yourself in a situation where you have so much weight here, and also include into that, you might be very front heavy, so you might have our counterweights on the pro dovetail adding even more weight to the whole system and you may find yourself running out of pan uh, adjustment you know so you, on the movie pro you unlock this here and you slide this back to uh, adjust your pan balance and you might have it all the way back and still not be in balance and so we came up with the pan counterweight mount so very simply here it's a little two-piece design and basically we have 3 8 16 threads on one side uh, on, well, on both sides of the pieces and one side sticks out a little bit and so you can choose to mount it with the side sticking out this way uh, which can maybe run into the ring um, so you can actually reverse it and mount it so that it sticks in this way um, but keep in mind the further out you put the weight the more effective it is at countering whatever, uh, achieving your balance without having to add additional weight. So I'm going to mount it facing out today. And it just goes right around, clamps around the, the two pan uh, carbon fiber tubes. Now keep in mind, these are rather fragile. They're very strong. Carbon fiber is very strong. But when you apply like a clamping force to it, um, it, it can crush. And there's really no reason, just like with our um, spindles, there's really no reason to crank on them like super hard. Basically, um, you know, the weight's gonna be pushing down on this and it doesn't have anywhere to go because this box is here. So notice I'm not even putting my wrench sideways. I'm just sticking it in like this and that sort of limits how much torque I could put on it. And there you go. It's installed as I was talking to you, very easy. You can take it off, you can take it on. Um, so I was telling you why you would want to have pan counterweights. So the first reason is you ran out of adjustment because you have a super big heavy build on here. The second reason is maybe you, you did have enough adjustment in the, in the, in the pan uh, sliding action here, you know, the extension, to get it balanced. But if you're on a ready rig or a Tilta Armor Man or something like that or easy rig with the Serene Arm, what happens is it ends up being, it's so far back that it ends up being very close to your stomach or your torso and operating, you have less room to operate the camera to move it around. So by adding more weight back here, you can actually collapse and you can shorten this distance. So that can have a pretty good effect on, depending on what kind of shots you're doing, um, it can have a good effect on your operating which will show up in your shots. So it's not to be this counted. Um, and of course, then the other reason is like the first reason I told you about is you have a lot of weight there. So very simply, our counterweights come in a one inch size and a two inch size. We are coming out with a third size, which is much bigger. Uh, the Tilta uh, Gravity users use that size quite a bit, um, but you might find yourself just getting going for the big size and then you can trim with these smaller sizes. But all of our weights are have a male thread on one side and a female on the other. So they actually do thread into each other so you can stack them sort of like Legos. Um, so we have three positions here and then even a fourth right there. And so 
you know, what you can do is instead of stacking them all tall, you can simply, there you go. You see me spinning on the weight right there. That's it. And now you have a counterweight and it's not hokey. It's not Mickey Mouse. You know, a lot of people tend to Velcro stuff. And um, like I said, you can stack them. You can line them up. You can I have a inner even with this 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 uh, weight mount sticking out here. Remember, you can reverse it. I also have a, a, a innermost part. So one of the ways you can trim um, the effect that the weight is having is by moving its position. So you can move it into very different positions. Um, it will fit in all three of you know. You can line them up all three together. You can taper them so they follow this contour. I mean, there's the options are, are you know, you just go crazy until you find something that works. Now, yeah, um, that is a 3 8 thread right there. So one of the things we're going to be offering as an addition to this, as an additional use for the pan counterweight mount is, of course, as you can see here, we are adding dead weight, right? It's just ballast. Um, and well, it's always better to add weight that's functional. And you know, the Movi Pro is very new and I've had, I've heard some reports that when the battery's voltage drops and it has a lots of outputs for power. So if you're drawing, you know, a transmitter, the camera, uh, focus, um, it's having a little bit of a power issue. Um, I've heard one thing here or there. Needless to say, you have a limited amount of Movi battery. So the, 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 the th what makes the most sense, we need weight back here, right? Well, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer a accessory plate that's going to go back here that will allow you to actually click in a V mount battery or an Ant on bar gold mount, um, or anything else you want. It's going to be a cheese plate. You can put a transmitter back here. So the other thing you can think about this pan counterweight mount, is just an accessory mount. I mean, I've seen people zip tie stuff onto this. It's just, you you name it. So you can put a, a video transmitter. You can put your focus, your MDR. Um, if you want, to me, what makes the most sense is like I just said, you actually mount a battery plate here and you put a battery as the counterweight. You can keep this super short. You will have enough counterweight to counterweight your heavy payload down here and you will have an additional source of power, maybe just for the camera, leave the Movi batteries for the Movi and maybe um, the uh, focus or something. So it's a great new addition. It doesn't cost very much and it's a great thing that's easy to take off if you don't need it. But then if you do need it in those clutch situations, you know, oh, if I just had something, I could mount something to this really quick. Or if I just had a little bit more weight, I could, I could achieve this or that. So. It's a great new accessory. I think you guys are going to grab the ball. You, I think, I think you, you get what I'm saying here and you're going to grow to love it. I know it's always on my Movi and I'm doing, I'm finding more and more ways in, uh, that I could use this and it's being uh, a very cool new tool in my uh, toolbox. So, um, I hope you enjoy it and, uh, you find even more uses. And if you have any suggestions, you always let us know. We're very open to making changes and coming out with new things. I mean, the nice thing about this is it's a platform that we can build off of for other things. Um, I mean, hell, you can even mount your monitor here if you want to. I mean, it's just, you know, go crazy with it. Um, but all right, guys, that's it. One more product. And, um, I hope you like it as much as I, I enjoy it. And so thank you very much and uh, I'll see you on set.